Good morning. Oh my goodness, it is a Friday today. So let's just get with the program and see what we have got this morning. It is a <clears throat> chilly willy 33 degrees out this morning. <laughs> so I'm in here. Of course, generator is running because um, I wanted to make some coffee this morning. And uh, the boys are in my bed. Max is down at the foot of the bed, curled up, and Raj is on my pillow. Of course, Mr. Uh, Raj, the king, he always reminds me of the princess and the pea story. You know, everything's got to be comfy, cushy. If there were a little pea under there, he would feel it. <laughs> my little princess, little Raj, the king. But he's all cozy curled up over there. Okay. I was going to head out, but then um, I guess I'm going to go back to Sedona again. Um, the gentleman that made that new flute that I just got yesterday, I do like it. It's, um, of course, it's not nearly as fancy, you know as the ones I have from Bobby. Um, <clears throat> but, but it does play well. <clears throat> okay. Um, it's just that the fingering is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be too wide for me or not. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to go down and look at what he's got. It's a nice, uh, his flutes are, um, and I'll show you this one again. It's, it's kind of differently made. Um, <clears throat> As you can see, I'm trying to get the cards out here. Okay. We're on a kind of a theme, it looks like, with them. <laughs> Let me get this out. Now, um, of course, buying this in Sedona, they charge me half as much more, again, as what he charges, which I let him know that. <laughs> But you can get one of these flutes from him. Um, this is a G for a hundred dollars, which is not bad. Okay, um, it's kind of different. It's rounded and then it's kind of flattened on the top, so you're kind of in an oval. Okay, kind of an oval, very small opening. So it's just different. Let's see how it is this morning. dragging around. I don't always want to take one of Bobby's really nice flutes. 
So this is something, it's sturdy, very simple, sounds good, and, and it's one I can just drag and kick around, okay? <laughs> this will be my, one of my go-to drag around, kick around flutes if I just want to go somewhere and I don't want to, you know, have to be so really careful because bobbies are, are just, they're works of art, let's face it, and they sound wonderful. Bar none, bar none, um, I do love Bobby's flutes, uh, okay. But this is a nice flute. Uh, if you want to get started in playing flutes and uh, you want something very simple, this is very well made, nicely done. Um, Phil Caldwell is his name, Phil Caldwell. They're numbered. I have number 333. <laughs> so it's the opposite of 666. <laughs> so I'll take number 333. That's a, that's a good number. <laughs> Like I said, I'm going to go down and see his other ones. Um, <clears throat> I've got a feeling they're going to be too wide spaced for my fingers, though, because uh, uh, the one I would be interested in is the C. I like the C. Now, I'll, sh I'll play real quick a C. This is Bobby's C. Flat. Here's a C. It's a nice deep toned flute. Now, with Bobby's, Bobby's, you know, he works and he takes into account that I've got small fingers, uh, so um, these are very easy for me to reach on Bobby's flutes. Uh, oop, need to reset them up here. I need to tie that soon. It's coming loose. So we can get the sound. <laughs> So there you have the C. It's a much deeper tone. I love the C. Um, I have to say, up here though, I'm up at what, 7,000 feet? <clears throat> it's affecting my breath. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you get a little breathless trying to play <laughs> the bigger ones. Um, yeah. Anyway, so let's get to the reading today. I, I people are waiting for the reading, not for me to talk about the flutes. But let's see what we've got today. Okay. Um, okay. Some things you need to do. Let's start here. Full moon completion. Ah. Uh, it's kind of uh, last night. I'm, I've got one that I'm going to put up. I'm, I'm working on trying to get the... Uh, music to sync with the uh, video. I was out videoing, <laughs> hanging out the door last night, videoing the moon in the pine trees. Okay, you can't see the whole of the moon. It's almost a full moon and it's in the pine trees and I'm out there freezing, getting the video and then I have the, the sound is separate, so I need to merge them. And I'm going to work on that this morning and try to get that up for you. <laughs> Full moon. Okay. Completion. So what are the some things that you do with completion, to get to completion? Well, number one is you get a very deep healing. 
okay? Deep healing is a sense of completion as well because if you are healed, you're no longer being driven by these niggling little dramas, okay? So you have to go through the deep healing, okay? Uh, you, in order to get to completion, you have to use your intuition, okay? Be more open to intuition, to following your gut instinct, and that's that first gut visceral instinct that you get rather than you try to talk yourself out of it later you know how that is you get that gut instinct and and uh, then you go no it's like you know and you talk yourself out of it you've got to get more used to using your gut instinct and your intuition okay so that you can develop your strength along the way one has to get stronger in their path of just being resolute, just continuing to follow it, no matter you know how difficult, because you will get the very difficult moments. In order to get to healing, you have to see what needs to be healed first, and you have to confront it on a very deep level, okay? So again, that takes strength, not running away from it, not trying to mask it over, not trying to be in denial of it, look and find the fallacy. Where did this fallacy come? And when you find the fallacy of it, then it'll release and cut that knot. But in order to find the fallacy, you have to first be willing to look at it, okay? And to dive deep into it to find out what it is, okay? Next we have, you have to have trust in your action in the universe, okay, that things are gonna go work out, even when you're in the midst of the dark time, and we go through those dark times, the dark night of the soul, where you can't even hardly take the next breath, you can't get, get up, you can't move, you're just wishing you were dead <laughs> at that point. You still have to trust the process and continue forward. Okay, last but not least, if we're going to get to completion, then we have to have dispersion, and this one is so important, dispersion. So what is dispersion? It is diffusing negativity. Don't let negativity get a hold of you, and you run with it, and you feed it, okay? That's what a lot of people do. They get some niggling little negativity and they keep feeding it and it keeps growing and growing and growing, okay? You have to restore the harmony. Again, stay centered, stay balanced, restore the harmony. Circulate, revitalize, dissolve divisions and lighten up, okay? <laughs> lighten up. Okay, again, know that this too will pass whatever it is. You know, if something is being negative in your world, you don't need it there. You know, now I'm going to tell <laughs> story. I have somebody, there's somebody out there. I mean, this person needs to really seriously be on medication. Um, Someone was talking about something yesterday, and I hadn't, you know, I was talking about the got people that make out these videos about me that are just off the wall craziness. And so one of my students looked and hadn't looked at anything for like a year. I don't go, don't go to their chat. And it's just, he opens it up, and the first thing she's over there. And my name used to be Sharon, okay? My name changed along the way. So she uses this as an absolute way of disrespecting. You know, if you have a nun and their name is changed, you don't go, use the prior name. So they do it as a form of disrespect. And he opens the video and he tells me, she's like, Sharon, why are you watching my videos? She's screaming at me. <laughs> I don't watch her videos. I don't go to her channel. I could care less what the heck this person is up to. She needs to be on medication. But that's what I mean. Is somebody that's gotten a wild hair about me 
consumed with it. Absolutely, this woman is obsessed because I've made videos about Michinanda. You know, he's a fake, he's a fraud, he's a con man, and she can't stand it. And so she has, <clears throat> unfortunately, decided that I am the whole world of her angst. <laughs> I am the cause of everything with Michinanda. <laughs> And all I've done is reported on, he's still running away, he's still hiding, the courts are still looking for him. <clears throat> and uh, so yesterday, I guess he said, he heard one thing, she said, Nietzsche-Nanda's as powerful as fuck. Yeah, well, right, yeah, that's why he's running and hiding, because he's powerful, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but this is the point being, this is what can happen if you latch on to something and obviously, I've said something that has pushed a button somewhere, and she cannot let go of it. This has been going on with this woman for at least a couple years now. That I am the bane of her existence. She's absolutely convinced that I'm sitting there watching her all day, and I have nothing to do with her. I haven't looked at her channel for over a year and a half, a year, a year and a half. I haven't even put anything up about Nietzsche for at least six months, but she's over there screaming <laughs> yesterday <laughs> that I'm watching her channel and just, you know, this, this woman really, and again, if you get that consumed with something, you're going to wind up mentally ill. So don't get consumed by something Again, has nothing to do with me. I have nothing to do with the woman, okay? But yet she's all consumed that I am the bane of her existence. <laughs> okay. Let it go. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, don't, don't get obsessed with something because it'll just make you crazy. It'll grow and grow and grow and the thing you're obsessed with, nine out of 10 really has nothing much to do with you, okay? So, uh, yeah, step back and look at things, the things that are negative, <clears throat> she would be much better to go find something else to do rather than to make me the bane of her existence, <laughs> okay? Let go of it. Lighten up. For God's sakes, go get a life. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. And, and again, you know, if you have somebody like that that's trolling, that's, you know, want to do nasty videos about you or whatever it is, okay, she's got a right to her insanity, whatever the craziness is that she's manufactured in her mind, really... It has nothing to do with me. Why she latched on to me to make uh, to make me the center of her angst? Who knows? But that's you know on that person. But again, there's nothing much you can do about it. They're going to be on their rant, whatever it is, no matter what you say, no matter what you do. So you've got to just. Uh, you know, ignore it. Ignore it because, uh, again, in the end, it really has nothing to do with you. It has to do with their own, um, their own drama, whatever it is they're going through, and they just happen to pick, pick you, as a symbol of their drama. Okay, <laughs> good luck with that. Okay, so. Again, if you have somebody, and like I said, you can't please everyone. It doesn't matter what you try to do, you cannot please everyone. And if you try to please everyone, you're just going to, um, you know, be, uh, what do I want to say, you're going to lose yourself, okay? You have to have honesty, you have to have integrity. And then if somebody's got a problem with that, 
leave it to be their problem. Okay, that's that's their problem. You can't lose your integrity um, over somebody's craziness. You know, so uh, keep your integrity and uh, just go forward in life and do what you need to do. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. Hopefully somebody has gotten something out of it that has helped them to uh, move forward in their own understanding, in their own, <laughs> their own path, their own um, journey. here and look and see what the readings are that people are asking about. Have a great day. See you online. Again, if there's a reading you wanted to see, perhaps done, or uh, something you wanted to see spoken about, please let me know. And I hope everyone is having a great Friday.